How do you figure out delta H from a potential energy curve? Well, the answer is that delta H is generally the H of the products minus the energy of the reactants. And so you can look those numbers up on a potential energy curve if you'd like. Now here I've actually labeled it. What you may not know is that uh, potential energies are generally negative. And I know we draw by convention this x-axis usually at zero in math, but we just put it wherever we want to in chemistry to keep, to keep things easy to look at. Enthalpy is actually just the difference between reactants and products. So wherever you started with, and wherever you ended with. However tall that is, is gonna be the number that corresponds to enthalpy. If you're given actual numbers though, you can plug them into this formula. My products are over here at negative 180, and my reactants are here at negative 100. Negative 180 plus 100 is negative 80 kilojoules, probably per mole. And that makes sense because when the reactants are less stable than the products, let me put that another way, when the products are below the reactants on this potential energy curve, we know it's an exothermic reaction giving off heat. Great. Real point here is that the enthalpy change corresponds to the difference between reactants and products. How high this hump goes means nothing to me. That hump size is more related to activation energy than enthalpy change, okay? Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.